Hello, my name is Joel Lavava, and I'm the Franchise King. One of the great things about being the Franchise King is that I have actual food service experience. And when I go to restaurants, which is fairly frequently, not as much anymore, we're, we're trying to really uh, eat healthier uh, and, and cook more inside, although uh, it doesn't really uh, show on me, uh, but it does on my wife and my daughter. Anywho, one of the nice things about going to restaurants is that I know food and I know food service. And I also know when things really need to be improved. For example, uh, we dined at P.F. Chang's over the weekend. P.F. Chang's uh, does offer license agreements, but does not franchise uh, in the United States. So I'm assuming that I was at a company store, a company operation over the weekend. We've been to P.F. Chang's numerous times, and the last three times over the last six months have been less than enjoyable. Uh, the first time was when they, they really screwed up a dish of mine. I wanted a little more spicy, so I said, can you just send it back and add a little more curry? Well, it came back. I couldn't even eat it. It was so hot, and it was like gelatinous. It was just really bizarre looking, so that was a nightmare. Uh, they ended up giving us a dessert or something. The time after that, I think, was a, a disaster at the uh, curbside carryout area, which is a lot of problems uh, to begin with. If I see curbside takeout, curbside pickup, to me that means when I pull up into the parking space, which is specially marked, that the food's going to come out pretty fast because I order it ahead of time because it's takeout. Uh, but the last time I was there, it took, I was sitting in, in the parking lot, uh, in the parking space for like 20, 25 minutes. It was ridiculous. Just sitting there getting more aggravated and aggravated. But still, I went back. So this time we went uh, to the P.F. Chang's, a uh, P.F. Chang's locally. There were four, four of us plus my little niece. So a party of five. Non-smoking. I'm kidding. It's not smoking everywhere. Anyway, party of five. We did not have a reservation. We came in at about 5.15, Saturday night. Hey, <laughs> I've worked many Saturday nights in the restaurant business. It's crazy. So it was fairly busy, not too bad. Uh, the, the hostess told us about 25 minutes or so, half hour. It turned out to be about 45 minutes, but for only one reason. The table that was supposed to be for us actually was ready for about 15, maybe about 10 minutes, but it needed to be wiped off. Three hostesses at the hostess station standing around, motioning to someone to wipe it off. Folks, all they had to do was grab a rag and wipe it off themselves, one of them. I mean, they were all three standing around. One was on the phone here and there. One was greeting guests. The other one was kind of walking around. Hello, when I worked at the host stand, uh, as a maitre d', as a matter of fact, in some places, like in Las Vegas, man, I just grabbed the rag and just wiped the table off and let's go. Let's get the people seated. This isn't rocket science. So uh, we waited an extra 10 minutes because uh, the hostess would not pick up a wet rag, clean, sterilized, hopefully, and wipe the table off so we can sit. And we had a little baby, okay? My niece is like not even two yet. All right, this is not rocket science. Hustle, think outside the box. Grab a towel, wipe off the table, seat us. The second problem, the server was really, really good, but I think part of their corporate training is to uh, not write the orders. Um, maybe it's their kind of appeal to the upscale uh, a diner. So the gentleman, a uh, nice guy, took our order from memory. Food came out uh, fairly quick, wasn't bad. And uh, the ladies at the table ordered shrimp, and they both got chicken. We said, error, error, warning, warning. We are nice. You know, we, we order the shrimp. They said, all right, keep the chicken. I'll get the shrimp for you. You know, eat the chicken in the meantime. No problem. That's what I would have done if I was a server. And if I was in management, I would have said, yeah, do that. I'm not kidding. 35 minutes went by. And we still had not gotten our shrimp. The waiter kept coming back. A couple more minutes, a couple more minutes. We have a couple of orders ahead of you. Wait, a couple of orders? Here's the deal. When you have, and I know this because I manage restaurants. When you have a table that got the wrong order, the server, A, 
should either tell the head chef or tell the manager what's going on so the manager could run in the kitchen and say, I need two shrimp, etc. on the fly. There was a mistake made. The kitchen drops what they're doing. They put the shrimp in. Five minutes later, maximum, because it was Chinese food, it takes like a couple minutes to cook, like five minutes. The food's at the table, customer's happy. 35 minutes. The waiter said, because there are two orders ahead of you. Now, I know it's a Saturday night, and I know it's busy, but you don't have an entire table eat the wrong food, all right, part of the table, eat the wrong food, while the other food is next in line, next in line. It doesn't happen that way, all right? So uh, a couple major screw-ups. First of all, P.F. Chang's corporate headquarters. Make sure your hostesses have a towel to wipe tables so they can see people quicker. Don't wait for the bus person. Don't wait for the waiter. Just handle it, okay? You'll have people behind the people that are waiting take less time to eat. And number two, if there's a mistake made at the table, order-wise, if the wrong food came out, immediately go to the kitchen and say, the wrong food came out, I need this on the fly. I need it right away. You don't have a table wait for 35 minutes. Everyone's done by then. They had a couple bites and everything was wrapped up in a box. You know, they bought us a little teeny dessert, which was very nice, but by then it was it was just so aggravating. We were there two hours, two and a half hours, by the time we walked in and by the time we left, with the little baby. Come on, folks. P.F. Chang's, get it together. The restaurant, uh, uh, and if you want to contact me, I'll tell you which one it is. It hasn't been together for at least six months, maybe a year. Get it together, folks. You know, I don't want uh, to turn some of these videos into uh, negative reviews of restaurants and negative reviews of franchises. But if I see something, man, I'm calling it out. That's just me. I'm the Franchise King, Joel LaBava, in sunny Cleveland, Ohio. Thanks for watching.